Welcome to Three Good Minutes. Today I'm talking about courage and cowardice. The 29th letter of C.S. Lewis's book, The Screwtape Letters, deals with the issues of cowardice versus courage in the Christian walk. C.S. Lewis links cowardice with fear. We cower when we become fearful and can be heartily tempted while in fear. We notice in the 19th chapter of John's Gospel that Pilate behaves mercifully toward Jesus until it becomes risky for him, until Pilate became fearful. The chief priests and their officials were clamoring for the Romans to crucify Jesus, though Pilate at first insisted that he could find no basis for a charge against him. But as the Jewish leaders continued to insist, Pilate grew increasingly fearful and ultimately gave in. Pilate, as you will recall, was the fifth governor of the Roman province of Judea and served under the emperor Tiberius. Pilate was the one who presided over the trial of Jesus and ultimately ordered his crucifixion, as both the apostles and Nicene creeds attest. Interestingly, the Ethiopian church believes that Pilate became a Christian and they venerate him as a martyr and a saint, as does the Coptic church, all because of Pilate's reluctance to execute Jesus. Maybe all of us see a bit of Pilate in ourselves. Fear, you see, can cause us to do things that betray our most deeply held principles. I like the notion that these Eastern branches of Christianity exercise the grace that God would have us exercise because they saw beyond Pilate's cowardice to the point of redemption. And it's precisely because of our human propensity to give in to cowardice and fear that Jesus tells his disciples that whoever wants to be his disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow him. He goes on and says, for whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Here Jesus calls his disciples to courage. And it's an eternal call to courage for all Jesus' disciples today. Human beings continue to respond to fear with tremendous cowardice. We see this worldwide. Fear can turn democracies to autocracies. Fear can provoke us to atrocities. All a dictator wannabe has to do is stir up fear, fear that there won't be enough for all if, of us if we let those others in, fear that we'll lose our way of life if we admit the stranger. That dictator knows well how to manipulate people into abandoning the principles of their faith. Well, just look what happened in Germany in the 40s when fear turned into cowardice, which led to atrocities. The chief demon in the Screwtape Letters remarks to his underling demon that the emotion of fear is in itself no sin, and though we enjoy it, does us no good. The problem is when fear becomes cowardice and similar to Pilate, wears us down until we betray our principles. Let us therefore be courageous and unwaveringly principled in all we do. Amen.